Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about adipose ear formation, also known as saponification. The topics that will be discussed are introduction, mechanism of formation, time period, distribution, factors affecting it, and medical legal importance. If you want this PPT, then you can go check out my website. I have provided this PPT over there. The link is given in the description box. Now let's get started. First, let's start with the definition. Adipose ear is a Latin word that is derived from adipo which means fat and sear means wax so adipose ear is a formation of an offensive rancid smelling soft whitish or grayish white crumbly waxy and greasy material that is similar to soap occurring in fatty tissues of a dead body subjected to moisture so adipose ear is basically a whitish or grayish whitish colored material that is soft crumbly waxy and greasy type material that is similar to you know soap that has a soapy kind of feel and the smell is rancid Said, and this adipose ear is found in fatty tissues of the body and it happens when the dead body is subjected to moisture so when this fatty these fatty tissues are subjected to moisture adipose ear is formed the factors favorable to adipose ear formation include mildly alkaline pH, warm temperature, anaerobic condition and moisture. So these are the favorable conditions for adipose ear formation whereas cold temperature, lime and aerobic conditions are limiting factors. Limiting factors are the factors that are going to stop the formation of adipose ear or slow down the process of formation of adipose ear. Now let's understand the mechanism of formation of adipose ear. So adipose ear consists mainly of fatty acids formed due to post-mortem hydrolysis and hydrogenation of body fats. So till now we know that adipose ear is formed from the body fats and it is formed when these body fats undergo certain chemical reactions that is hydrolysis and hydrogenation process and this hydrolysis and hydrogenation leads basically converts these body fats into fatty acids which is basically our adipose ear all right so the hydrogenation is a process of um, the, is a process when these fats they react with h2o molecule or water molecule and in hydrogenation process in hydrogenation a hydrogen group is added to these fatty these to these fats right the process needs water obviously which is provided by the body fluid of soft tissues the chemical reaction essentially involves conversion of the unsaturated liquid fats to saturated solid higher fatty acids so basically in this process unsaturated fats are getting converted into saturated fats so let's look at this figure now um, we have this tissue over here that is adipose tissue this is a fatty tissue so the decomposition of this adipose tissue takes place which leads to formation of triglycerides right and then these triglycerides they get converted into unsaturated fatty acids by the process of hydrolysis as i mentioned over here that is a reaction with water so triglycerides gets converted into unsaturated fatty acids like palminolic acid oleic acid linolenic acid further these unsaturated fatty acids are getting converted into the saturated fatty acids by the process of of hydrogenation in which a hydrogen group is added to the double bond of unsaturated fatty acids which leads to formation of a saturated fatty acid like palmitic acid stearic acid myristic acid further these saturated fatty acids are converted into adipose ear like they're converted they can be converted into salts of fatty acid or hydroxy fatty acid which is basically leading to the formation of adipose ear i hope you understood the mechanism now the time required for the formation of adipose ear in hot and moist environment it may occur by the end of one week earliest recorded is three days whereas in temperate countries it starts in three weeks and completes in about three months 
if we talk about the distribution then it forms at any side where we can find fatty tissue which includes face buttock breast abdomen these are the usual sites in case of female body this change will be seen almost all over the body due to the presence of good amount of subcutaneous fat in females internally small muscles are dehydrated and become very thin and have a uniform grayish color the depths of large muscles have a pink slash red color with complete conversion of fat to adipose here if we talk about the factors that are going to influence the uh, adipose here formation then that includes age like for example the fetuses that are less than 7 months old they do not show adipose here formation then build is going to affect in obese people and mature newborn it is form quickly obviously obese people have a lot of fatty tissues in them so adipose here is going to form more quickly then environmental temperature heat is going to accelerate the process and the cold is going to retard the adipose here process formation then moisture moisture is essential of course for chemical reaction actions to occur it occurs rapidly in bodies that are submerged than in damp soil that are submerged in water than in damp soil then air current it retards adipose here formation by evaporating the body fluid and by reducing the body temperature so air current is going to decrease the formation of adipose here then running water adipose here formation is retarded again decreased by running water as the electrolyte are washed away from the surface of the body which is necessary for the change then bacterial infection early activity by anaerobes such as clostridium perfringens assist in the reaction as the bacteria produces lysithinase which facilitate hydrolysis and hydrogenation process a warm moist and anaerobic condition favors the adipose here formation already told if we talk about the medico legal importance then obviously it is a surest sign of death time since death can also be estimated but it gives a rough estimation personal identification when the process involves the face the features are well preserved which help in identification recognition of injuries the cause of death may be determined since injuries can be recognized place of disposable of the body some idea about the place of disposal can also be made since this formation requires some kind of warm place with high humidity or presence of moisture or water so this was all about adipose here i hope you understand what that is how it is formed the various factors medico legal importance onset etc If you found the video to be useful then please like this video share it my channel to your friends so that they can also study and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching